Howdy guys, Kirk and Jay here with Kirk Giordano Plastering. Today, what we're going to do is, we're going to show you how to scratch brown and apply a finish coat to this on the same day. Now this is an acrylic finish. Uh, acrylic finishes are just basically stucco with sand and an acrylic paint added to it, so you pay a little bit more for that uh, sand. But the benefit of an acrylic finish is uh, not only does it flex more as the house lifts and, and drops, it'll flex more so it's less likely to crack. Plus when this gets wet it doesn't darken like a brick. Cementitious finishes do darken. Now I tell people if you're going to do a patchwork around any window do the scratch and brown coat. Allow that to set 30 days and then come back with your finish coat. Why? Because typical stucco needs to cure it got to drop from a like 14 to 15 pH level down to a 10 or below so you don't get ghosting, bleeding, uh, the effects that the camera doesn't show right now I'm sure but we got a lot of streaks coming here. There's a lot of streaking like that so uh, when you wait the 30 days it'll avoid that especially too. If you do it acrylic guys you should apply a, the primer that comes with the acrylic. We're not going to get into what kind of a, a, a acrylic we're applying right now because they're all real similar. Uh, I can name the best to the worst, but uh, not necessary. What I'm going to show you guys is the method we're going to go so that we could do the acrylic or do the scratching brown here and then the acrylic the same day. Now that, my friend, takes uh, a bit of practice, but I'll show you anyhow. All right, guys, I'll show you some of the products you could use. Now we use um, um, a Hansen's uh, all-purpose. This is just is all-purpose plastering cement. You add usually three to one, three um, parts sand to one part uh, plaster. Now you could use your Eisenwalls too. These you have to buy at the material yard such as West Side, uh, Stucco Supply, Clothes Building Materials, things like that because this Eisenwall, they say, and I have done it, that you can do the scratch coat, the brown coat, as well as the finish coat. Here's the deal, guys. The finished coat must be cementitious. Why? Because if you're doing that, it all has to breathe. You can't seal it. You can't do your scratch and brown and then put an acrylic over it. That goes against all the rules, guys, because although that will set, it won't cure. It'll harden, but it won't cure. In other words, we'll be right back up there with that high 15 or 14 or 15 pH level. It's got to drop down so the cementitious doesn't doesn't mind that you can put that but you just can't seal that for 28 days this product here rapid sets uh, stucco patch I've used this a few times just for the heck of it for the fun of it uh, it sets quick it's 1620 grit meaning it's a heavy sand I could match what we're gonna do with this finish but we're doing the acrylic finish same day because the owner has it he says Kirk gee whiz I have a half a bucket left can you use it and I said, yeah, I can use it. And he does again. He doesn't want to wait the 30 days. He said, Kirk, I just want it done quick. And I said, well, we're, you may still have to prime it anyhow because the color, all these acrylic finishes, although they say that you blend it in and you could paint or match the finish if you put a new window in several years later, bull, bull. They won't match the colors, guys. Uh, trust me, there's only one color I know, and that's crystal white that'll match. All the rest of these colors, uh, are tough. Now this particular product here, this this Stucco Flex or BMI or Drive It, they mix better or they color better but a lot of products uh, don't have that ability. But we won't go into that because we got to keep it positive guys so I don't like to mention crappy acrylics but anyway we're gonna we're gonna match this and I'm gonna show you some ins and outs if you want to do it same day stuff. Alright guys I'll show you how we apply this Stucco Patch. Now the Stucco Patch you can go uh, up to uh, 3 8 to a solid 2 inches. This particular stuff, guys, it really takes practice to use because it'll set fast or slow. Uh, usually, we got about 15 minutes. Now, I don't know how many of you guys out there who watch what we do can put it on in 15 minutes. But just to prove a point, I'll show you how we do it. Okay, so 15 minutes. Now when this stuff gets hard, guys, 
you can't float it. You can't do much to it. So I don't recommend a lot of you guys do this, but because I'm here and I want to apply the acrylic uh, today also, I figured, oh, what the heck, use the stucco patch. It's kind of sticky as you see. It sticks. It's got a lot of accelerators in here, guy. So unless you're a uh, seasoned plasterer, you don't want to use it. I'll show you a lot of times I'll, I'll do a face in the plaster to, to let people know just when it's set. This stuff here, when it's set, it's set. I'll show you that with, uh, with the old finger trick when I get to that stage. And right now what I'm doing guys is I'm just putting on the, a scratch coat because this particular batch right here is made a little too, too soupy, but nothing we can't handle. There's not a person out there who can make a perfect mix every time. Sometimes it's soupy, sometimes it's too thick. If it's too thick, well, then that means you gotta use a lot of muscle to put it on. If it's soupy, you just switch from muscle to skill. Okay, now let me have the rest of it, Lou. Lou's mixing for me as Jay's filming. Otherwise, Jay would be applying this. All right. Sticky stuff. All right, because it's set so fast, you can just go ahead and mix another half a bucket, Lou. Uh, Lou's gonna mix another half a bag, and by the time he mixes another half a bag, this will be pretty solid. And then we'll just go ahead and, and show you where it's at. I'll show you the thickness and, or the, the hardness of it. Okay guys, second bucket. Uh, this one is makes a little stiffer, but that's okay. Uh-huh. Alright. So this one's mixed a little stiffer. You can see it's already getting hard. Uh, we could put water in it, but I'm gonna make it work. And by the way, guys, this particular product too, uh, not sure if I said this, but it's a 1620 sand. What does that mean? That's the grit. So it can match, I can match this finish with almost any stucco. But again, these folks have the color, so I'm gonna use the color. Let me get this real quick because this is setting. A lot of these products wait for nobody including me. So when they start to set, there's no time to mess around. And it's starting to set. Okay, boom. All right, now the top, the top's gonna have a tendency to wanna slide because this is setting already. So I'm gonna take it sideways, put it on, take it sideways. All right. Woo, that's some stiff stuff. All right. The benefit of this, guys, is the same day application. I mean, for us in this particular video, uh, it's, it's the ability to do this acrylic again most of the materials you see us using, they will harden in, say, um, an hour. But hardening in cure time is a huge difference because, <laughs> come on, I get it out of there. 
uh, the hardening, that doesn't mean you can paint it. That just means it's, it's set. And is this a big deal? I mean, I've done jobs for guys, commercial jobs, a lot of commercial jobs. And I tell them, guys, you got to wait 28 days to paint. And a couple of jobs I've been to, I said, you got to wait for 28 days. And I go by and they're painted the next day. And I said, guys, what happened to the cure time? And they said, I've heard, uh, Kirk, look, your job is done. Leave us to do our job now. And we got to open this store. So we don't, have, we don't have time for that cure time stuff. But those are unusual circumstances for us in this particular video. A little bit, let's see what you got. Nothing? I'll take it. I need a couple of little spots. Oh, yeah, that's good, Lou. Uh, now, I'll show you what, what we have here, guys. That first batch was put on, well, five minutes before the second batch. Uh, it's, it's still, it's still ready, but it's getting hard. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and allow this to cure for 10 more minutes, which, of course, we're going to turn that camera off. And then when we get ready to float this, I'll show it to you. And I'll show you how we could actually match this texture with this texture, but that's not what this video is about. It's about ghosting and things of that nature. Okay, guys, we're going on about 20 minutes from when I first started. And what I'm doing now is I'm just taking a, a rod, a straight edge derby, and wetting it because this was kind of sticky. We uh, put a little too much water on the first mix. It happens even to us professionals. But anyway, what we're going to do is allow this to set five minutes, and then I'm going to float it. And this is for my buddy Sarah, whose son loves it when I do this. Hello. Hello, Sarah, son. This is Kirk. You can't play around with us right now because this wall is five-minute mud. You don't have the time. Oh, yeah. Sure I do because I have the skill level. Anyway, I'm going to quit messing around. That's for Sarah's son because he loves to see those smiling faces. I actually just put faces in the wall over the last few years because I was trying to show you guys the consistency when you can float it and when you can't float it. Anyway. Okay, guys, scooping a little bit of mud. Uh, it's, been a, it's been a while because we got a lot of work to do here. This stuff says two hours. Literature says hour and a half. I say... Oh, two hours go by the rules. It's been about three. Let's check the mud. Ah! Oh! I could break your fingers doing that, guys. That's for Sarah's son. He probably got a kick out of that thinking it'd be funny if I broke my fingers. Anyway, okay, so now what we're doing is the lipstick, basically. The lipstick is, is easy. This is just the acrylic finish. And what's the difference between an acrylic finish to a cementitious finish? Well, one thing is acrylics stick to everything, which make your life uh, a little bit more difficult. And by the way, guys, uh, I'm not sure if I said this, but acrylics, only the very, very top of the line acrylics will match the existing color if you do it a year later. If you do it six months later, uh, many of them can, but as a rule, most don't. So, um, try to have all your windows and everything done the right the first time. So you don't have to open up like this fella had to do and do more work. I'm pretty good, but again, we're limited by what we have to work with. Uh, I'll tell you some good products, guys. While I'm uh, squeezing in this corner, uh, Stucco Flex, that's a great acrylic. Drive it, a great acrylic. BMI, a great ap acrylic. Which, ap which acrylic am I using now? Well, uh, it's okay. Um, and by the way, too, guys, if you're using acrylic, use the base coat or the primer. I mean, we're using a primer that you can barely see because it's like the white Elmhurst glue. Uh, usually, if you're doing an acrylic, they'll ask you, do you want the color tinted? And me, 
I'll always say, yeah, tint the color, but this is colors that he had already saved from when he did this original stucco. And of course, he didn't have any primer, so I just got some of my own primer from another job. Anyway, I'm gonna get one more scoop, and we're doing a lot of windows here. I'll show you how it blends in, possibly, because we're doing so many different things here. Uh, and they will actually have to set up about, acrylics take about a day to dry, guys. If you're doing it in the cold, cold weather, figure on a day, maybe two days, but we're in the hot sun right now. So it could be, I would say, oh, about an hour. And we're still gonna be here in an hour messing around doing stuff. But while I got this right here, I'll show you how we float this and how you guys can float yours. And this part takes a little bit of practice. Okay, now to float a, an acrylic finish, guys, two floats, hard rubber, that's to compress, to firm everything up, straighten it out, uh, get it all true and level. That's not to float it or bring out the aggregate. I'm gonna use this sponge float here to bring out the aggregate. All right, now this is bringing the sand out. We always float into the existing. I'm going to take the new and float into the existing. Up here where we got that, I'm going to go back and forth a couple times, back and forth, and just feather that joint in as best as possible. Now, again, we, we feather in, feather in. Boom. And this float, again, is wet. You cannot do this with a dry float, guys. If you could, I would show you with a dry float. Okay, so we're getting that. Now I'm going over once more to bring the sand out consistently. The fellas who did this work originally, oh, five, six years ago, uh, they were pretty good. I'd rate them a six or a seven. All right, so we'll pull this window too in a minute. Now what I'm doing is I'm getting this, the acrylic off of this float. This acrylic, oh man, it sticks to everything, guys. You get it on your clothes, forget it. That, the clothes are gonna stay that way forever. Now what I'm doing here is I'm putting a lot of water on this edge, just going back and forth. Now I'm gonna come up here, come here. And there's no rules to this, guys. You can go whichever, which way you want. It doesn't have to be up and down like I'm doing. I'm just floating in. This is the most important thing, float into the existing, take the new, float it into the existing for a better transition. The transition is everything. That's what separates the guys who do repairs who are professional from, say, homeowners who don't know that little stuff. All right, here's the, my last joint, guys. So what I'm gonna do is clean that float again. Now I'm gonna take the transition here, come up. I wanna wet that transition. A couple times, guys. Do it as many times as is necessary. All right. Now, I'm going to float into my own wet surface. Easy peasy. Nothing to it, guys, if you know what you're doing. And it, this acrylics do take a bit of practice because they're gluey-like. You ever spread glue? <laughs> well, if you do this, you're spreading glue, and it has a tendency to want to stick to everything. Boots hawking trials, you name it. Okay, so that's actually pretty ready. So what I'm gonna do, guys, is we're gonna go see how much, uh, we got two windows on the side here, and a couple other things. We're gonna see how much we can get done with that little bit amount of acrylic he had. And we'll show you, hopefully, this patch, or maybe one of the other patches, depends on the weather and the sun and stuff, so you can see that no patches blend in perfectly. If I blend it in perfectly, it's not by luck because I've got a lot of practice. It's because the acrylics are decent. Okay, guys, does the camera show that? Doubtful, huh? Or the patch there? Doubtful. I didn't think it would, but I'll show you over here, guys, as 
as we got a lot of stuff we're doing. That's a difficult finish to blend in. That one there, as paint or an acrylic dries, it darkens. As a cementitious finish like a brick dries, it lightens. Concrete is stucco and rocks, Portland cement. So it dries lighter when it um, cures. Stucco will dry darker. So this one is lighter, but when it dries, it's going to be like this. And in another half hour, this is going to blend in. Now that is, uh, I wouldn't call it luck, but the skill of being well prepared because we've been doing this stuff a long time. Anyway, guys, it's tough to show in a 15 minute video how to do all this stuff and the knowledge it takes for different materials, different stuccos, different acrylics, primers, and all the rest of that crap. But we, but we did the best we could with you. Anyway, we thank you folks for watching. And as usual, live long and plaster. By the way, folks, my dad and I are now members of Amazon Affiliates, so if you're looking to buy any of the plastering or construction tools you've seen in our videos and you want to support us in the process, you can check the links below our video or you can go to our website and get them there. If you have any other questions that for tools we don't have linked, email us direct and we'll respond to you then. Once again, folks, we thank you for watching and I really enjoy all your comments. If you guys like this video, please click the like button down below. And also, if you enjoy what we do, subscribe to our channel so we can keep making these videos for you. My name is Kirk. And Jay. We thank you for watching. And from the entire Giordano family, we'll, we'll see you on the next one.